What's up guys? Welcome back to another Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video. Today, we are going over top 10 easter eggs in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Before we start, I do want to mention that this is going to be a remaster of one of my most popular videos of all time. I decided that for some of these videos, for the one month of posting every single day, I would remaster some of my most popular videos, my most popular top 10 videos. So, this one is going to be my favorite one, top 10 Easter eggs. So if you guys do go on to enjoy, make sure to drop a like if you guys are new, subscribe. And let's get in to number 10. Our first Easter egg coming in at number 10 is going to be the Indiana Jones Easter egg. This is the most well-known Easter egg. Obviously, it goes from 10 to 1, being most well-known to least well-known. Basically, you want to go on Seeds of Time, and at the desert point, I actually kind of <coughs> forgot the name, and the desert point, which you'll see on screen right here anyway, Basically, what you want to do is you just want to go up to this camel, you want to press B or circle or E or whatever your uh, button is to interact. And if you go to this corner, this little section will cave in and you can jump down. Watch out though, because there is a giant bowling ball coming your way. And yeah, so basically this Easter egg is a reference to Indiana Jones of him running away from a giant ball that's trying to squish him after he sets off a trap. Um, it actually leads you to the top of a little section where you have the advantage on the plants, which is a very decent advantage, except mostly everybody knows about this anyway, so it's not like people aren't going to be able to get up to you because they know where you are. So, But yeah, this Easter egg, uh, some people know it, some people don't, majority do, but hey, if you didn't know this Easter egg, well, now you do. Coming up at number 9, staying in Seeds of Time, Egypt. I just remember the name, it is Seeds of Time Egypt. Number 9 is going to be another secret spot. If you go up to Crazy Dave's sarcophagus, take a left, and then take another left into this corner. If you jump onto this coffin, or box, or whatever you want to call it, look at the wall. The wall will open. So what you want to do from here is you want to go up the steps. Watch out though, because there is a trap waiting up there for you, so be careful. If you go through the trap successfully, you will enter this one area with Crazy Dave's tomb. And um, yeah, this is also another vantage point for the zombies or plants, whoever is taking it over. They added two Easter eggs in the same little area, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so number 9 and number 10 are both Easter eggs that actually do help you out. And they're in the same point, which is pretty cool. So you can do these both in the exact same game if you really want to. So. Yeah, uh, I don't think this is a reference to anything. I don't even know why they put this in here. It's just, I guess they had enough extra space and they said, yeah, let's, well, let's do it again. So there's number nine. Coming up at number eight is going to be the cannon in Aqua Center. So there are actually a couple areas at Garden Warfare 2 that you can interact with things that aren't actually supposed to be interactable. And this is one of them. So if you go to Aqua Center, preferably go into a private match as Pea Shooter or Imp with low gravity on, but you can actually still do this in a regular game. It is just a lot harder and your characters are limited. Go to this little leaf wall here, jump on top of it and use Hyper or just get up to this point wherever you are, whatever character you're using. And then you'll notice there is a cannon right up here. So what you want to do is you just want to jump up to it and spam your interact button and hopefully you'll get into the cannon. Now, what this does is it actually puts you out of bounds because you're not actually able to just step out of bounds. Basically, the reason why this is letting you out of bounds is because since you entered the cannon, it basically glitched you through the invisible wall and now you are over the out of bounds, but you can't get back in. So you, you have to respawn or die to get back in. However, you can actually kill people from up here and you can actually walk around a little bit. So it is literally just cheating if you know how to do it and you can get on top of this with any character somehow. You can literally just cheat every time you get on Aqua Center. You know, this works for both sides. Um, you are easily killable, but you are able to easily kill people at the same time. So yeah, um, <laughs> Uh, I probably shouldn't be making this public, but hey, anyone who wants to try it, give it a shot. It is a lot of fun to do because you can actually explore a little bit. You can't go too far, however, because you will die from being out of bounds, but for the most part, you should be okay. Coming up at number seven is going to be in Zomburbia, starting as plants, you actually spawn on Crazy Dave's lawn. Yeah, so you actually spawn on Crazy Dave's lawn because if you spawn in and you look down, you can actually see the tiles 
of where the plants are planted in Plants vs. Zombies 1 and 2. Yeah, so it's just, just such a weird Easter egg. I mean, it's it's cool, but um, these are obviously ranked on how much people knew them, and I guarantee a lot of you guys didn't know this. And I, I mean, I only found out because I remember this was a couple years ago. I was, I was playing, and I looked down, and I was like, why? Like, this grass looks a little weird. Like, it's like, it kind of looks like they didn't render in the grass right. But you realize they did once you see that it's just because you're on Crazy Dave's house. So there's like tiles there. So yeah, if you look around, you'll find uh, you'll find Penny buried in the brush. You know, Penny from Plants vs. Zombies 2 or just an RV uh, just in the brush. And uh, yeah, so this is Crazy Dave's house. Cool. <laughs> so he's got a house here and then he's got the backyard battleground house. So which one is his real house? I don't know. I guess we'll leave that for you to decide. Coming up at number six is going to be again on Seeds of Time. At the last point, if you actually follow where I'm going right now, you take this little drop, you'll actually find a fallen knight. This is actually a Dark Souls reference. Yeah, I didn't actually know this was, um, and then I looked into it more, and it actually surprisingly is. It was actually confirmed. Uh, it's just such a weird Easter egg. Like, it, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's just randomly a knight is placed here with a fireplace. You can go check it out for yourself. You can destroy it if you want so other people can't see it. Um, yeah, so that's number six. Coming up at number five, on Moonbase Z, when you spawn as zombies, um, right away you can actually go to the Easter egg. Basically what you want to do is you just want to spawn in, preferably as Imp because it can do the Easter egg easier. You want to go to these little machines and you can just press the buttons and they tell you little facts. Like they tell you really dumb facts, but they are facts. Some of them are actually true, um, and yeah, so they, they, they work, like they're inter interactable, which is kind of crazy, like some of these facts are just plain out stupid, like the moon is made of cheese, well that's true, but yeah, so um, I didn't know about this, and then obviously, if you guys don't know, to find a lot of these easter eggs and a lot of these glitches, uh, I actually spend some of my time walking around all the maps, figuring the stuff out, but I also, also found these out a while ago, but I would literally walk around, and I did walk around, and thankfully I found this because it is a pretty cool easter egg, and I, I would like to say I do this every time I spawn into Moonbase Z, but I don't, because I just forget it's here. It's just such a pointless easter egg, but it is cool. It is cool that these work, and I'm not sure if they work as plants. Um, I They probably do, but um, I don't know. Someone test it out for me because I'm too lazy, but that is number five. Coming up at number four, it is going to be Yeti pooping in Zombopolis. Yeah, you, you heard that right. Trust me, you don't have to rewind. You heard that right. Basically, at the last point of Zombopolis, there is a Yeti pooping with Garden Warfare on the screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, literally, go to the last point where I'm going and check this out. Like, he's just sitting there pooping. Like, this Yeti also exists in Zomburbia. He's in a cage on the third point. The fact that they just put him here for no reason is so funny. I don't, I don't know. It just makes no sense. He's sitting there pooping, reading a newspaper with Garden Warfare on the screen while a giant robot is being destroyed and ready to launch, right? It looks like he's in a prison. I mean, maybe, maybe he pooped so much they had to block him away forever, but I don't know. But yeah, that is number four. Um, it's just so stupid, man. I love this game so much. That's number four. Coming up at number three is going to be the Moonworm on Moonbase Z. This Easter egg requires 16 people, and basically all you guys have to do is just stand next to each other, and eventually this ginormous Moonworm will just come out of the rocks. Um, this is actually my footage. This is from like four or five years ago when I did this with a bunch of my friends and viewers on stream. Um, a giant moon, moon worm will just come out of the ground, and you can literally only do this with 16 people. I believe it is 16. The subtitles on my video say 16 people, and I haven't done it since then, so I'm just gonna say 16 people. It could be less, but you cannot, there's no button to press, there's no emote you have to do, you, you need 16 people. It's pretty cool, like a giant worm comes out, and it doesn't do anything, but it just comes out, says hello and then it goes back in and you can't do it for the rest of the game you have to wait until another lobby loads in but yeah so that is the moonworm pretty darn cool easter egg i'm actually gonna say something really fast i actually forgot you actually do have to press the button you have to emote right where i'm standing in the video you actually have to emote all of you guys have to emote and then the worm will come out 
I realized I just I just thought of it just now right after I said all that that you actually do have to emote but yeah so that is number three view moon word coming up at number two is going to be developer names inside of infinity time infinity time either plants or zombies load her up go exactly where I'm going you can find that there are actually developer names hidden in the loading screen while you're waiting for the gnome floaty to get destroyed you can actually go and find developer names hidden on the wall. Um, this is a really neat easter egg. Again, I found this out by walking around and eventually walked in there and found it. It is very neat, it's very just just really cool. You know, it's not just it's not like the credits of the game where they're there, they're just hidden in there for the developers to be for eternity, basically. It's a really awesome easter egg and I feel like the developers deserve more plaques like this. There, there might be more plaques like this somewhere, I don't know. But I feel like the developers deserve more plaques like this, especially since it's like hidden. Like it's not just in the backyard somewhere. I mean, there's obviously the credits, but so yeah, um, developer names, every person that worked on the game is here. But none of these Easter eggs compare to number one, because number one is going to be Back to the Future reference. So Zombopolis, second point. If you notice on the town hall looking thing, there is actually a clock referencing back to the future but that's not it because every single time you capture the first point on zombopolis there is a 10 percent chance that lightning will actually strike the clock on the town hall this is a reference to back to the future when obviously they go back to the future and the lightning strikes and whatever um credit to petrifying obviously as you see on the screen because i'm not gonna spend my time doing this because it's gonna be almost impossible for me knowing my luck to get footage of this so credit to petrifying for the footage um yeah you can see the lightning strikes the clock in the town hall and i actually had to find this on youtube because this would be almost impossible to find in game and if you saw it in game you'd probably just think it's a normal occurring thing but it actually doesn't happen often i've never seen this in game so knowing that it exists even is just cool let me know if you guys have ever seen this in game I know I haven't, and I probably won't for the rest of the time I play. So guys, that is going to do it for the top 10 Easter eggs remastered. Every single one of these Easter eggs is the same as my original video, which I will link down in the description in case you want to watch that for some reason to hear my squeaky voice. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like if you guys are new, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.